Hi beer tubers! Tonight I'm going to be having another beer by Great Divide Brewing and that is going to be their Fresh Hop Pale Ale. Now this is a style that has been catching on more and more with some of the major breweries or I should say maybe a sub style and uh, the first brewery I believe that I noticed doing this was Sierra Nevada with their Wet Hop Ale and I believe their Estate Series they do that and they have another one as well called Homegrown um, and when I first had their Wet Hop Ale it was, it was so good and just to give you a side story here the whole idea with the Fresh Hop thing is that they get fresh hops um, most likely from the Northwest like Washington State, Oregon State and they have them shipped overnight so they could put it immediately into the beer wort and it really gives off, gives off this grassy, citrus, even earthy kind of flavors to it and it's, it's, it's a really nice sub style. Here we go, it's a uh, bright orange color. Uh, let me go ahead and give it a smell. Mmm, yeah, nice and fresh smelling. Um, it was it was a little colder before. Uh, I just had to, you know how video takes go. You have to just keep retrying and you slip up and stuff. Uh, anyways, uh, it, I, I with styles like this, I kind of prefer it to be just really chilled. Not so much like it's ice cold, but you know just chilled enough so it really brings out the brightness. I think that's that it helps out with that. Um, anyways, the carbonation is medium. As you see, see the color is bright orange, like fresh grass, you know, like fresh cut grass kind of smell, um, even, even some earthy tones, but it's not too, like, dirty kind of earthy. It's, it's quite citrusy, too. Well, why don't I go ahead and uh, give this a taste here. Come pipe. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's a good one. Yeah, that's, that's quite good. Um, with the fresh hops thing, you know, I, I'd be curious to hear from some of you guys that are more, more experienced with beer than I am and even home brewing, is uh, I always hear about keeping the hops fresh so it should be refrigerated. Now I got this from a place called Total Wine in Southern California and they have a great selection of everything and even the beer is more than BevMo. Uh, but the lady there was saying that, oh, you don't need to have it refrigerated because otherwise the brewery would ask them to, like they would with Pliny the Elder. Um, I don't know. I don't know about that. I mean, it's, it's not like if it's over a month or two months that it goes bad. I mean, the taste is still there, right? I mean, I think it's once it gets to six months or so, maybe, but I'd be curious to hear your uh, perspective and opinion on that. It's actually having some more, like, nectar kind of... Uh, fruity notes to it. Uh, it's, it's pretty sweet. Um, I'm not getting too much of the earthy tones like like uh, you get from the Deschutes one or even the Sierra Nevada's homegrown one where it's like you know like earthy, big time earthy. Uh, this one tastes more like uh, I don't know almost like borderline IPA kind of but a sweet kind of IPA. Um, but it's, it's very fresh crisp. Um, definite citrus notes uh, which kind of gives it this IPA kind of thing. And it, it is it is quite grassy too. It's not it's not piney, but it's grassy. I'm finding that I like drinking hopped up beers like like this style, um, uh, IPAs, double IPAs. I actually like drinking in this kind of style of glass, opposing to to the Belgian tulip glass, which is you know it's, it's like this one here. Um, I don't know. I, I think it just kind of just goes down smoother. But that's just me. I, I just had a Carl Strauss's Big Barrel Double IPA in this, and it was just like, it just made it seem even smoother and so tropical. You know that that that's one of my favorite double IPAs. I think it's my on my top two actually. Um, but anyways, uh, this is a really good beer. They did a good job with the fresh hop thing. Um, they didn't fail or just did mediocre job like some of the other breweries have. So I'm really glad I got this. Um, I think price wise. I think it was fair. I, I don't remember how much it was, but for 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 however much it was, it, it it definitely wasn't anything where I was just like, what? That's so expensive. You know, it wasn't like that. It was definitely worth it. So, if you could get a hold of this, I do recommend you getting it. Great Divide is on my top five favorite breweries. Uh, I'm there's only been a couple of beers that I just been like meh, but nothing bad. So, anyways, this was the Fresh Hop Pale Ale by Great Divide. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in another beer blog. Come fight.